Warning, this video is very unprofessional. I may include explicit content on this subject. Ah, uh, whatever. You're probably gonna keep watching this anyway. Enjoy this dumb fuck of a video. Hello, everybody. I have my back again with another episode of uh, Sacred Sword Princesses. This episode, I'm gonna continue Chapter 2. I did some grinding off screen, and I hope to get through at least a good like fourth of the story in this episode so we're starting off with a battle but this isn't replacing any uh this isn't replacing any story of a soccer nova i'm just this is a placeholder for now but i will do both of these stories oh god game I hope everything is like what I left it at the setting and sounds. I hope they're alright, but you know. One can guess or something. Boom. Easy. So pretty much, if you just play the game, it just goes on on its own. So it's really not that hard or anything like that. A soft, thick touch. <clears throat> Let me go with my crappy voices again. That mountain pass was so dark and slippery. We're lucky that we didn't fall to our deaths. But there was no other way of secretly reaching the uncharted lands of Themis, so we had to take the Dark Passage. Sorry. I wasn't blaming you, Trish, now, just grumbling. Don't take it seriously. Alright, alright, sorry. And enough of the apologies, they make me uneasy. Really? Ugh. <clears throat> Voice change. Really? So. <laughs> Watching her timid and slightly embarrassed reaction, she couldn't help but think what a lovely heartthrob Trish was. With the great power that she has, he thought, I wouldn't stand a chance if I was up against her. I first smiled without realizing. <sighs> Which theme is yet, man? Oh, you're finally awake. You got a lot of nerves sleeping the entire journey. What am I supposed to do? Fly around all the time? I'd like to see you try. You have no idea how I flew by far and how tiring it was to save you. How ungrateful, man. Baka. Yes, yes, you have my deepest things, but if you haven't saved me, I have died. And what have you explained to that to the goddess? Mm, her devoted herald. Haha, <laughs> we're here, the Empire, the Empire of Themis. Tristan, let's go find some delicious food, man. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, huh? The Themis patrol is approaching. You better hide, don't want to run in any trouble. What the balls? Trisha suddenly embraced Evers, fell to the floor, and rolled against a nearby bush. Although he didn't have a time to chance to object, Evers still enjoyed the feeling of being feeling of his face pressed against her large soft Yeah. Trista <laughs> Shh, they're coming. Quiet. Oh, here is a generic character. Turning a blind eye to someone in distress, it felt wrong. What other choice do we have? I hope that swordsman managed to get to safety. But why'd she run to guard our forest instead of the city? You really expected her to run to the city with being chased by the beast. If she was stopped at the checkpoint, do you actually think they let her in? You're right. Such a pity. Trish. <laughs> Just hang on, I can't hear them clearly. Not sure who'd be alive the time you hear them, man. What? Uh, uh, sorry, are you okay? Although being suffocated to death by her supple breast will be a blissful end, Trishna shook me until I snapped out of my intoxicated state. Alright, alright, you can stop. You're making me even dizzier. Sorry! It's fine. What on earth were they saying that made you so curious? It sounded like someone's being chased by the beast and ran into the Gunnar Forest. Oh, let's go and save them. That's what I was thinking. We have to hurry. Trishna dashed off, leaving Avas behind her. They soon heard the sound of battle. Look, it's a 2D stock image. 
Ha! You still managed to far get the fuck. You managed to get away further away than I thought you would. It seems I underestimated you. But that ends here. I, Nala, Nyla, will make you join the ranks of the beast whether you like it or not. I'd rather die than become a, become like you. Halt! Tristan dropped by a verse and rushed to protect the girl in the white. He drew, she drew a sword, shielded the girl in white, and fixed her eyes on self portrait Nalia, who was apparently one of the beasts. What kind of beast are you? You don't look like the ones we've seen before. Anyway, as long as I, the vessel of Mani, has anything to say about it, you'll be hurting no one. Oh, really? And what backwater hole did you crawl out of to think when your puny sword can hurt me? That's what this Mani's boat? I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Mouse. Oh, shit. I heard. Am I bluffing? I walked off screen. You didn't see anything. Boom. Um. I can't understand what's effective or not, so... Fire But I don't have any fire guys on me right now. Oh, boss time. Empress of the Abyss, Nalaya. Nyla, whatever the words are. Oh, she just teleported. Chief, she is Come here, die. She's like a soft voice, I don't know. Eh, yeah. yeah, screw it, I'll just do it softer. Probably, I hope you guys can still hear me, but you know, I'll be alright. Because I turned down like, the thing quite a bit, so I hope it works. Damsel in Distress 1. You have the power to defeat me? Who the hell are you? As I, I am Chishna, Vessel of Mani. The secret sword has awoken the power of Mani within me, so I can rid your world of you vile beasts. Now you look at Trish from head to toe, furious and startled. I first go and move to help Trish, but was stopped by Luna dragging on his eyelids. Ow, oh, Luna, what are you doing, man? Stop! Keep quiet, you can't be seen ever, man! Huh? Why? Do you think once they know they can turn an average person into a vessel money, someone will obliterate them? They'll just let you go, man. So what? I'll just fight them. Oh, you think it's so easy? Of course you do. You can never fight the beast. Listen carefully, man. When it flies over, arms crossed, are looking at her seriously. You don't have the power to hurt the beast. What? You can't be serious. I can awaken the power of money, but I can't defeat them. I'm not joking. I mean it. Seriously, man. Why'd you tell me earlier? But I've been following everyone in a battle against the beast this entire time, so naturally I thought I had the power too. Don't forget you belong to this world, man. That's why you have any power here. What you're talking about? You said I have the secret sword, right? I possess a unique power or something. I'm sorry, that only power comes from your sacred sword. Your rest of your body is and the skill to attack or even defend, man. What else have you forgotten to tell me? Well, you can't afford to be attacked by the beast. You'll be tainted and placed in even greater danger, man. What do you mean, more danger? What could possibly be more dangerous than death? That's all I know, man. And that's okay, don't ask your mistress if you don't know. The goddess? I can't contact her when I'm in this world, man. I have to complete my mission and return first. So... Cut, cut, cut. Huh? Is that it? What fierce power. I'll deal with you next time. <laughs> Hope she died. Oh, are you alright? You're wounded. How can I? She passed out the wounds. What should we do now, man? Got wrong voice. Seems like the leader of the beast has fled. Now we can see what's going on, man. I look like I've been hiding this entire time. So shameful. Even with that thought, I'm first trying to meet them. One the girl in white his arms, Trishna looked at a person and Luna hopelessly. She's been caught by the taint, man. Look, her wound's black as coal. That's my name. I 
We've seen the same wounds before. The victims become feverish, their wounds twist and blacken. Finally go mad, run away, and disappear. This is what the taint does. It corrupts people and turns them into beasts, man. So is there nothing we can do for her? She become a beast. There must be some way to save her, right, Luna? Well, yes, there is a way to save her. I sense a hidden power within her as well. You can perform a soul harming ritual with her before the taint takes over her entire body. Man. Wait, you want me to... Without asking permission. No, no, I cannot. It's a crime. A crime. Fine, we should say a prayer and leave for sure he turns into a beast, man. Hey, don't just give up. There's no other way. No, according to my knowledge, is the only way, man. I just I'm some pleasure doll, apparently. Please, I'm begging you to save this girl with your sacred sword. I really want to. I really do. But, uh... Eyes closed, frowning in pain. She still looked exquisite. Black wounds were scattered all across her white skin and blotched as the blood were soaking in her white dress. Every fiber of his being told him it was simply wrong to have it with an unconscious woman, but he couldn't just stand there and do nothing as she died. I see. I really hope I can save her. Not Tristan gave a few flustered glances before walking off, her face blushing to keep an eye off her beast. Was alone with the girl. She laid unconscious on the ground. The pain of her injuries caused her face to contort. Contort? Whatever. Despite my mixed feeling, I had no choice. To perform the ritual to save her life. Hands trembling. Never mind. I have standards. Goodness me. Not even two, not even three chapters in. Overwhelmed by guilt over slowly pulled out and reached to help her get dressed. And that's then a slight shiver of silly light flashed in front of him in the first fall, an icy object on his neck. Who are you? How dare you take advantage of me like this? Speak the truth or I cut out your tongue. Don't, sorry, please let me explain. Luna, Trish, now help me explain. Ah, yes, that was the secret sword ritual. Luna. You too keep calling Luna. Where is this Luna? Hello, here I am, man. Huh, you're so tiny and winged. Are you a fairy? Ha, huh, actually, I'm the Monty's Herald, man. Monty's Herald. A verse was forced to stand motionless and listen to Luna with all the sword at his neck. They all listened patiently, and Luna took her time telling the girl and white everything. So this man is saving my life with his sacred sword. Yes, the sacred sword woke up me, and now I'm a vessel of money. Who can blame me, and now you have a way of defeating the Nocturnal Four. <laughs> I'm sorry, but since you know what happened, could you put your sword down? Oh, sorry, and thank you for saving me. Baka. Ugh. I'm glad you understand. Now I can. However. Ah, uh, what? It was still without my permission. If I ever find you like that again, I'll. I'm innocent, really. I objective. I'm deeply sorry it had to be that way. Your own white slowly removed the sword from his throat. As soon as he sheathed her weapon, a look of exhaustion came over her. I'm starving. Where's the cleverest place we can get some food? I have some bread and jerky if you like. Are you not a citizen of Themis? No, listen, those guards can return at any moment. They better be leave when we can and not risk getting caught. We're going to Themis. Would you like to join us, man? You're still badly injured and need aid. Oh, I forgot to ask, what's your name, man? Uh, thank you. I'm Nadab. Naladia. 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 That's gonna, that's gonna suck pronouncing at all times, like, terribly. Peace encounter. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, stiff. どうでもいい。私はやるべきことをやるだけ。
easy. <laughs> I wonder when I'm gonna meet this character that I got from um, re-rolling something. But you know, only time will tell. Let's battle. Everything is water here, but I don't have. What's I think grounds affect me against water, but you know. What am I? What am I intelligent? No. Oh, yeah, it's definitely water. I'm in ground. God damn. This isn't the time to go shit on me now. Go. Man, this person's fast, but they're like no damage. Oh, I catch you two shots. Murdered. I hope this can like fix everything, but you know it's not. A painful oath. So, Nadalia, did you come from a distant land? Did the beast attack your hometown too? Yes, the beast came out of nowhere and lo no one knew why. Unable to destroy them, we were forced to hide and watch our homeland was occupied and destroyed. My companions and I managed to escape the beast before they encircled us. And since we've been traveling from place to place, searching away for eliminate the beast, and once and for all, and now it seems like I found the key. Mmm, you're absolutely right, man. As far as I know, he's our only hope, man. This is gonna get weird. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of this. Oh, it's so simple. Didn't you tell me the beast poses much more threat to me than you? Well, no, man. I just remind you not to challenge the beast on your own, man. How can be such a heavenly journey and such a terrifying hidden rule? Maybe I should just hide somewhere in a danger. You gotta find would-be vessels and bring them back to form the ritual, safe and easy. Selfish and cowardly. What, Nadalia? Are you talking about me? Nadalia glared at Avers, holding away back her tears and biting her lower lip. So, Nadalia, you said you escaped with your companions. Where are they? To ensure I can get to safety. They died or became beasts. I don't know where they are now. They all risked their lives trying to save the people in my hometown. When they face the beast in Nocturnal 4, they... They... They all chose to sacrifice themselves so I had the chance to escape. I'll never forget their pleading eyes as they pass on to me their faint hope of victory. A safe place, you say? Who doesn't want to live peacefully and safely? But what makes you think your life is precious while ours is just trivial as ants? If we wait until everyone's a vessel and only to rush them to help save our homelands, we'll be left with the world to save. Holy shit, man! <laughs> It doesn't matter anyway. Even I have to do it on my own. Nothing will stop me from saving my hometown. And Ali is indignant, trembling words of Averse deeply ashamed. Am I really such a cowardly person? Averse wondered, and some pang in his heart. I'm sorry. I didn't know you've been through. I didn't know your pain. It's true, I'm too petty, too cowardly. You're right to say what you did. Fuck, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I may be scared, but I'll do everything I can. With my power, I'll help you drive off the beast and restore peace to safety in this world. Do you mean it? I do, but I feel useless when I can't fight by your side. If Luna said it's true, I have to keep myself safe as well. Well, you can't take care of yourself if you can't hold a sword. I know. So I'll take care of your safety then. That's not right. Por favor. What? How would you be able to get to my hometown safely otherwise? Look from now on, listening. Look from now on, listen to everything that I tell you to do, and don't do anything without my permission. And I'll protect you as well. Yardy, yardy dues. I'll do one more chapter. Uh, Depressivo. With depression as my ally, I can no longer be stopped. I gotta love it. <laughs> 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 
But I'm in the city now, boys. What you gonna do? Ha! 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 I am the power of God. It's a goal. The tower trials thing. Uh, I got two, so I don't know what that one is. Okay, shrouded in mystery. Why are there armed soldiers and even at the Cavalier Corps? They must have noticed the signs of the beast, so why didn't they take up arms against them? Perhaps they can't eradicate them all, but surely they can't just stand there and watch others suffer. Is this how the renowned mighty empress of Althemis trains her subordinates and army? I believe the Empress of Althemis may have run into some trouble. The Empress of Aphrodite told me she's not the kind of person to let this happen. It's true, during an exchange between the Cavalier Corps of the two nations, I met the Empress of Themis in person. She truly was mighty. Really? Perhaps the Empress is the hands of the beast then. From what I've observed my way to Lothalmus, the beasts are present in large numbers here. Apart from, my, apart from Nadalia, Nath Nalia, Nyla, goodness, God name suck. Who was sent to help me down? The Nocturnal Four doesn't seem to have reached here yet. That's exactly what we need to defend theme is from a large full scale invasion by the beast. That's the only way to find out the condition of the whereabouts of the Empress of Themis. So is there something you can do after all? I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm being recognized as a subordinate. But that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for this episode. I I got halfway done through the story. Yeah, I got halfway done through the story. I'm on 2-5. So yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Alright. Till, till next episode. I'm Avery Spuma. Have a good one, boys.